The Western Sahara is one of the world's most beautiful deserts. The purity of its sand, the perfection of its curves, inspires respect and admiration. The desert is the camels and the blue men's territory. The Tuaregs are so-called because the clothes and the turban they wear are often blue. These nomads live in the confines of the ancient country of Mauritania and make their living through breeding and trade with the agricultural populations. The desert is their kingdom, where they enjoy a freedom that can be found nowhere else. Very spectacular sandstorms are often accompanied by a southern wind called the Shiraco that dramatically raises the temperatures. There are heat waves of 50 or 55 degrees centigrade, but nights are often very cold. Half of the Sahara is despairingly flat, a sand or rock plain. The dunes form a massive, the Urgs, but they cover only a fifth of the Sahara. Mountains are rare, in reality only modest volcanic reliefs. On November 6, 1975, 350,000 Moroccans marched across this desert towards the Spanish Sahara, waving green flags. The Green March, as it is known, was meant to recuperate this part of the desert, and one week later, an agreement was signed between Spain and Mauritania. Rasani is the last big town before the plains of the Sahara. It's an important marketplace where the caravan peoples come and go. The Alawite dynasty that still rules Morocco descends from this area. Only ruins remain of the city of Sijil Massa, capital of the Tafiale region for a thousand years and founded, according to legend, by Roman legions. Thank you.